Hey, have you ever thought about improving your English fluency? Absolutely. I mean, it's such a valuable skill, especially in today's globalized world. How do you go about it? Well, there are a few strategies I've found helpful. First, I try to immerse myself in the language as much as possible. That means watching English movies, reading books, and even changing my phone and computer settings to English. That makes sense. Exposure is key. I've been doing something similar, but I also try to practice speaking regularly. It helps build confidence and fluidity. That's a good point. Speaking is a whole different ball game. I've started joining English speaking clubs and engaging in conversations with native speakers online. Nice. I've been considering finding a language exchange partner, you know, someone who wants to learn my native language, so we can help each other out. That's a great idea. It's a win-win situation. I've also been using language learning apps with speaking exercises. They give instant feedback on pronunciation, which I find super helpful. Which apps do you recommend? I've been using Duolingo and Babbel. They're quite user-friendly and have a good variety of exercises. But there are so many out there, it's about finding what works best for you. I'll check those out. Another thing I struggle with is thinking in English. Any tips on that? Yeah, that's a common challenge. I try to surround myself with the language mentally as well. I set my thoughts to English, describe things around me in my mind, and even talk to myself in English when no one is around. Talking to yourself? Isn't that a bit odd? Maybe a little, but it really helps. It's like practicing without the pressure of an actual conversation. You should give it a try. Fair enough. I'll give it a shot. By the way, do you have any favorite English expressions or phrases that you've picked up? Oh, for sure. I love idioms. They add a certain flair to your language. Like, hit the hay for going to bed or piece of cake for something easy. It's fun to sprinkle those into conversations. That does sound fun. I'll keep an eye out for interesting phrases. Thanks for the tips. I'm really motivated to step up my English game now. No problem. It's a journey, but a rewarding one. Let me know if you discover any cool strategies along the way. We can compare notes. Absolutely, I'll definitely do that. And hey, speaking of the journey, have you faced any challenges that you've had to overcome in becoming more fluent? Oh, definitely. One big challenge for me was overcoming the fear of making mistakes. I used to worry so much about being perfect that it hindered my progress. Now, I embrace mistakes as part of the learning process. How about you? Same here. It's tough not to feel self-conscious, especially when speaking with native speakers. I guess building that confidence takes time. Absolutely, confidence is key. Another challenge is finding the balance between formal and informal language. Sometimes, I feel like I sound too bookish, while other times, I might be too casual. I get that. It's like navigating the nuances of the language. Do you have any strategies for that? Well, aside from practicing with a variety of materials, I try to mirror the language I hear in different contexts. For instance, if I'm watching a formal presentation, I pay attention to the phrases used. Then, I try to incorporate those into my own speech when appropriate. That's a smart approach. I think I'll start paying more attention to those nuances too. And, you know, Sometimes I get stuck on certain words or phrases. How do you expand your vocabulary? Vocabulary expansion can be a slow process, but I've found that reading extensively really helps. I make a habit of noting down new words I come across, looking up their meanings, and then trying to use them in sentences. Also, podcasts and audiobooks are great for learning new expressions in context. That sounds like a solid strategy. I'll definitely incorporate that into my routine. By the way, have you considered taking any formal language courses? I have, and I did take a few classes. They provided a structured approach and a chance to interact with classmates. But, honestly, the informal practice has been just as valuable, if not more so. That makes sense. Real-world application is irreplaceable. Well, thanks for sharing your insights. I feel much more inspired and equipped to take my English to the next level. You're welcome. Remember, it's a gradual process, so be patient with yourself.
and if you ever want to practice together or need more tips, feel free to reach out. I appreciate that. Let's definitely stay in touch on this language learning journey. Absolutely, sounds like a plan. We can encourage each other and share our progress. It's always motivating to have a language learning buddy. Definitely. Accountability is key. Hey, speaking of which, do you have any specific goals for your English fluency? Good question. I've set some short-term goals, like being able to comfortably hold a conversation on various topics without stumbling too much. Long-term, I'd love to reach a level where I can confidently participate in professional discussions and maybe even deliver presentations in English. How about you? Similar goals, actually. I want to feel at ease in any English-speaking situation, whether it's casual conversations or more formal settings. Plus, I've been thinking about taking an English proficiency exam to have a concrete measure of my progress. That's a great idea. It gives you a tangible goal to work towards. I might consider that too. Oh, and have you tried recording yourself speaking? It's a bit cringe-worthy at first, but it can be eye-opening. Recording myself? That sounds both interesting and terrifying. What's the benefit? It helps you identify areas for improvement, like pronunciation or pacing. It's like giving yourself feedback. Plus, over time, you can track your progress and see how much you've improved. I suppose it's a necessary evil. I'll give it a shot. And hey, have you ever participated in language exchange events or meetups? Absolutely. I've attended a few, both in person and online. It's a fantastic way to practice in real time and meet people with similar language learning goals. Plus, it's a chance to learn about different cultures. That sounds intriguing. I'll have to look for some in my area. Oh, and one last thing. Do you have any favorite English-speaking personalities or influencers you follow for inspiration? Definitely. I enjoy watching TED Talks by eloquent speakers. It helps me pick up on their tone, choice of words, and overall presentation skills. Also, following English-speaking YouTubers who share tips on language learning has been quite helpful. Great suggestions. I'll explore those. Thanks again for all your insights. I feel much more equipped to tackle this journey to English fluency. Anytime. Remember, it's a journey with ups and downs, but the key is to enjoy the process. Let's check in on each other's progress and celebrate the victories, big or small. Absolutely. Here's to becoming fluent in English. Cheers to that. It's going to be a rewarding journey. And hey, let's set up a regular schedule for our language practice sessions. What do you think about meeting up once a week to chat and share our experiences? That sounds like a fantastic idea. Having a regular practice schedule will keep us on track. We can discuss our challenges, exchange new vocabulary, and maybe even pick a topic each week to dive deep into. Perfect. We can make it fun and challenging at the same time. Oh, and there are language exchange apps that connect you with native speakers. Maybe we can explore those too. Definitely, let's look into those. It could add another layer to our practice. By the way, do you have a preferred time for our weekly meetups? Evenings work best for me, around 7 or 8 p.m. What about you? Same here. So, let's make it a plan to meet every Thursday at 7 p.m. Does that work for you? Absolutely, Thursday at 7 p.m. it is. I'm looking forward to it. And if we come across any interesting articles, videos, or exercises during the week, we can share them with each other. Agreed. It'll keep things dynamic and engaging. Well, it's been a pleasure talking about this with you. I'm genuinely excited about our language learning journey. Likewise, here's to a future of fluent English conversations. If you ever feel stuck or need extra motivation during the week, just shoot me a message. We got this. Definitely, I appreciate the support. Until our first official language practice session, happy learning. Happy learning to you too. Looking forward to it.